I think this is gonna be the intro to my summer harvest video. Look at that. Just awesome. Fully capped super here. One, two, two. When I started my channel a few years back, uh, I did not expect to be a beekeeping channel with 50,000 plus subscribers. That was, that was not my intention, but, but here we are. Once you have a channel that's that focused on a specific topic with that many eyeballs looking at it, you get approached by a lot of companies that want to show their products off on your channel. And up till now, I've just said, no thank you, no thank you. I, I just don't want to be that kind of a channel. But I was contacted by a beekeeping company who wanted to send me some products to review. So I want to be straight up front. These were given to me. This was sent to me for free. I did not pay for these. This is also not an endorsement of any kind. I am just reviewing the products. I'm trying them out and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm not being compensated in any way. So this stuff came all the way from New Zealand. It's a company called Saracel. And I, I'm sure you've seen this on other beekeeping channels. I've seen it on other channels, but I've never used it. I've never put my hands on it. So this is my first time. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to check it out. I got, I got two big boxes, which probably cost them a lot of money to send here, all the way over here to Massachusetts. Oh, cool, these are bee escapes. This is gonna be very handy. I need these right now, because I'm about to do some extracting. This is awesome. These are eight frame bee escapes. So there's these little, these little cones go in here. That's super easy. I, I gotta say, first impressions, this is burly plastic. This is solid. Last year was a year of expansion. I started with three colonies, sort of in early summer, late spring. I expanded up to 11 colonies last year by the time the fall hit. But I only harvested from three colonies because there were only three that were big enough to harvest from. This year, I have 11 colonies that are booming. And I think I'm gonna harvest from seven or eight? I don't know, a lot. Today, I'm gonna go in and see what we have for honey at this point in the season. Now I'm sure there's gonna be a fall harvest video too because the fall is our big flow, but we've had such a great year this year. I mean, I don't know if it was me, I don't know if it's the season, I don't know if it's the weather. Something changed this year and these bees are packed and they have not stopped bringing in nectar. Usually right now is the beginning of our, our dearth and it still could happen, but we're getting weird sort of early goldenrod in late July, which never happens. And our late goldenrod is getting really tall. So I don't know if that's gonna be early this year as well. So either way, I need to take some honey off of these hives. I'm gonna go in there and see what we have, first of all. Then I'm gonna start removing boxes, harvesting honey, and then putting the empty boxes back on because I wanna be ready if we do get an early fall flow and have a lot of empty supers on these hives because the fall is usually much bigger than anything else in the year. So last year's harvest, I, I opened up three hives, I took the most capped frames I could find, and I literally just brushed the bees off the frames and brought them down, and it was kind of a mess. This year, I'm gonna try a new thing called a bee escape. And what this is, is you put this on top of your brood box or a lower super in your stack. It's a one-way gate, so the bees can go through these little holes and they come out these little cones here, but they can't find their way back in to go back up. So you put this on top of where you want the bees to escape to, they come down through the supers, they go through these holes and then they can't get out. And then after about a day or so, the, the idea is that the upper supers are empty of bees because they, they can't come back in. So I'm gonna put these on the hives, come back tomorrow, and then start taking boxes off. Starting with Carniolans. We got four supers on top of one eight frame deep. And this is all packed. That's completely full. Oh my God. That's too totally full. Okay, that's not quite as full. This one's not capped yet. All right, I'm gonna put an empty one in and then the one that's not quite full. Then I'm gonna put the escape on here. 
so they'll go down. So this is the escape. Watch out, bees. So I want the bees up here to go down. Ugh. All right, that is the uh, biggest beehive I've ever seen. Okay, checking the Russians. It's hard to lift. This is not fully capped, but it's getting there. I'm gonna put an empty in that. All right, so as you can see, we have a, a monster, a monster right here. So I'm just gonna leave them. We'll get two supers up here. Hopefully they empty out and the bees go down. I think I'm gonna have to close that upper entrance for them so that they, they're forced to go in and out through the bottom. It's my first time using these things, so hopefully this works. And uh, we got one on the cor uh, Carniolan and one on the Russians. I'll come back tomorrow and see what happened. All right, it's been 24 hours since I installed the bee escape and I plugged up the top hole here. So hopefully these are completely empty of bees and I'm gonna take these two supers off and then give them one more super, just an empty super, take this off. So they'll be back to having four supers. Pretty empty compared to what they were. They were jammed. This is incredibly heavy. All right, I'm taking this thing off. I'm gonna give them an empty super here. Okay, the Russians are the other hive I put the bee escape on. Let's see what they've done here. Yeah, pretty much gone. This thing is so heavy. Ugh. Yep, they all left. It's like four bees up here. Maybe five. And this is an empty super now, so they can fill this up. And I'm just gonna leave them like that. All right, the Russians have a completely empty super here, and they have this one, which they're working on, which is like 50%. So I'm just gonna leave them like that for now, because the bottom is jammed too. So that is their new space. All right, that was pretty painless. Thank you, Saracel. This definitely made the uh, the pulling of the supers off way easier. It took a day for the bees to leave. On the uh, Carniolan hive, it was a, it was probably 95% of the bees were left out, and on the Russians, pretty much all of them did, except for about four or five bees. And uh, yeah, all you do is put it on and walk away. I know you could probably do a fume board or some kind of, you know, they have some chemical you can spray on your lid and it makes the bees all run away right away, but you know, just wait a day and that was it. So yeah, the construction of this thing is is pretty, pretty burly and you know, I'm gonna use this for many years. So again, this is not a sponsored video. They, they didn't pay me to say this, they didn't pay me anything, uh, but they did send me this for free to try out. So thank you, Saracel. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a worthy purchase if you are looking for something like this. I've never tried any other kind of bee escape, but I think I'm gonna stick with this one because it works and it's really solid. All right, so the last part of the video, I put the bee escapes onto the Cornelia hive, no, the Carniolan hive and the Russian hive, and they worked perfectly. And I came up here the other day and I, this hive was ready to, to escape the bees from this super because I'm going to harvest this super so I put the bee escapes on here but I forgot one important thing I did not put the tape over the upper entrance so I may have wasted two days just sitting here with the uh, upper entrance open let's see what happened actually there's no activity up here so maybe it worked even without the entrance closed off totally that's amazing even with an upper entrance. The escapes totally worked. But look at that. Just awesome. 
fully capped super here. And uh, yeah, the escapes are awesome. This is so heavy. There might be like one or two bees in here and that is it. Before I put the uh, bee escape on, I just put, the, I put an empty super right here for them. Wow, they're already drawing it out. This was a totally empty super and they're drawing this out now. So yeah, perfect. All right, let's check the other one. Again, bee escape, I put on two days ago and we've had a, a day and a half of rain. So I didn't come up here because it was raining out, but hopefully they've all moved down. Again, no tape in the upper entrance. One bee. Hey bee. Another total success. So yeah, and this was a, another empty super I dropped on here for them. And uh, yeah, they're working on this one. All right, so I just took two new supers off of the hives with absolutely no effort, no brushes, no shop vacs or uh, leaf blowers or, or fume boards or chemicals or anything. Uh, these things work as advertised and I love them. So thank you, Saracel, for sending these over to me. I give them a thumbs up and uh, yeah. Even with the openings open at the top, the bees still went down through the holes and no, no other ones came in, apparently. I don't know. It's been on for two days, though, so that, that could be something. But uh, yeah, the first ones are left on for one day, and I remember one was pretty empty and the other super was, you know, like 95% empty. But after two days, th these things were empty of all but like two bees. So good job. Love these things. And yeah, that's the story. So. Next up, we're going to be spinning some honey. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.